regular students, my name's Matthew. I'm Lindsay. And today we're going to teach you how to use the walker uh, with Kevin as our assistant. All right, so Kevin is portraying Pat, which is a 57-year-old left. 67. I'm 67. 67-year-old <laughs> hip fracture, left hip fracture patient. And we're going to uh, show him how to use the walker and uh, <laughs> teach him the proper gait pattern. All right, so this is a walker. This is an ambulation aid that provides uh, anterior posterior uh, stability along with lateral stability. And to use a walker, you can fold it like such, fold it out. You can also adjust the walker's legs uh, depending on the height of the patient. And that's important because uh, to properly fit a walker, you have to make sure that uh, the handles are approximately at the greater trochanter of the femurs, which you would, uh, I guess, palpate for by placing your uh, hand or your thumbs on the ASISs and letting the fingers fall on some bony prominence. And that should give you about 20 or 30 uh, degrees of flexion at the elbow, right? So, Pat, how tall would you say you are? Uh, six foot. All right, six foot, I'm about six foot two, so I'm just gonna place it a little bit uh, lower than mine. So here's my greatest command here. I'm going to adjust it accordingly based on the estimate. Well, that's as tall as it gets. All right. All right, so now Lindsay's gonna talk about how we're going to get our patient ready uh, to go for this. All right, so in doing so, I will demonstrate to Pat the type of gait pattern that we're going to use. And what we are using is a modified three-point gait pattern, just because she is partial weight bearing on her left side, or he in this case. So we're going to do the modified three, which is done like so. So we'll go with the walker first, and since the left side is affected, you'll step with the left and then follow with the right. Pat, do you understand? Yes, I do. So every time you teach the ambulation device, you always make sure that the patient knows and can repeat back what you would do. So we will take a couple steps, like such. And then when we turn, you're always going to turn to the affected side. So you'll still step with your left first, but you're going to turn to the right side. And we'll demonstrate this with Pat whenever we get walking. All right, so before we uh, start this, we're gonna make sure we follow all safety precautions. So first, we're gonna make sure that his wheelchair is locked into place. And then we're going to uh, apply a gate belt for safety. And also remove his footrests so they don't get in the way. We'll make sure that's nice and snug. How's that feel? That's good. So now as we approach the wheel 
wheelchair. You'll again turn towards your right side. And we're gonna instruct Pat to make sure before sitting back down in the wheelchair that you can feel the wheelchair against the back of your knees. So that way when you sit down, you'll be right in the chair. And always go back with your hands as well. Alrighty, All right, Pat. so reach back to that wheelchair and lower yourself down slowly. All right, great job. So you just saw us show you how to use the walker along with the correct uh, gait pattern.